All right, everyone, here we go again. It is time for another City Fix episode. What is this, episode 11, I think? Today we are in San Palma, um, almost 100,000 people, which is a pretty substantial city. Uh, it, yeah, it's, it's really big. It's quite condensed as well. I do like how the highways kind of weave through. Um, like if you go over here, it kind of reminds me of like Tokyo a little bit, how it just goes through like that. I think it looks really good. A lot of traffic issues, but it should be a relatively easy fix. And even though it's going to be easy, it's still going to be really satisfying for me personally. And whoever made this map is obviously going to get a fixed city. Now, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I really appreciate it. Almost at 100,000. Yay. Also, my Instagram is below Samba underscore. You can just click the link if you want to go there. You can send me your city, blah, 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 blah. Um, also, if you would like to upload your city, just go to your uh, City Skylines home page once you open it and then go to the content manager and you can upload it there and simply just send me the link via in the comments below or on my Instagram. So while I was talking, you can see all of this traffic is just building up through here. It's not really a good design, not really good. Um, the issue we're having throughout the city are these types of highway connections. Now, usually this is something I do, but I don't really like to do, to do them right in the middle of a of a city because you have traffic coming up through, through here. Some want to go this way, some want to go that way, and like they have to crisscross everywhere, and it causes traffic lights if you don't manage them. So obviously these ones have not been managed. Same for down here. Some want to go this way, some want to go that way. Have to crisscross again and so forth. Now, one thing I noticed, if I was just exploring the map and it's going into nighttime, where is it? This, what is this? Um, really? <laughs> Girl, that, ugh, oh my God, here comes a ambulance. Are they gonna get air? Where is it? Is it coming? Oh, <laughs> just imagine, oh my God. I did not do that, that was just like that. I don't know if this was already in the game because this kind of looks familiar. And it's going into nighttime, so let's just stop that quickly. There we go. So anyway, let's go back over to the city. Now I'm going to be working on the areas over here. So this intersection here, this one here, um, maybe this one here as well, and this one. So basically here, 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 and here. And once we fix those, it should pretty much fix all of the other back up area. Um, the traffic lineup goes literally all the way, or almost all the way out. Before, when I was watching it, it did go right out to the fog, which is like way out on the edge of the map. So it's kind of bad. So for this one here, I'm actually going to use a roundabout, but I'm going to put the roundabout underneath because if, if we just look down here, there's a lot of empty space. Yeah, we'll have to demolish a couple of buildings, but it's generally empty space. So why don't we utilize that and put in one big roundabout connection. Alright guys, so I've just finished putting in the roundabout. It looks, it's a little bit hectic because there's a lot of things going on in this area, but basically you've probably seen this before if you watch all my other ones, but I've added in a direct slip lane down onto the roundabout if they want to go this way. Um, a lot of them were having to go right around here and then basically go back under, so I just gave them a bit of a shortcut. Um, I've also gave them two different ways so they can go onto the roundabout or they can bypass the roundabout connection and go directly onto this road. Now I just need to manage it a little bit. I also made these roads here going off, so one way roads going off, same for this one and this one, just because we don't want extra traffic being added into this area, so um, yes. Yeah. What is the next part? So this isn't really going to fix itself up until you can see all the traffic is coming up here, up, 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 until we fix up this part here. So basically, uh, what we're going to do here is probably another roundabout highway connection again, because we have so many different 
ways for them to go. So a lot of them are going this way. These guys here are waiting to go this way, which then causes these guys here to wait, which also causes these guys here to wait. There's traffic lights here, there's traffic lights here, there's waiting time there, there's waiting time there something like that now there was this lane here which had basically way too many options but i just want to double check which way they're all going because if there's a lot of them wanting to go from here into this lane i can give them an extra lane so let's just go down into this one and click on that one no oops i'm still i'm updating roads let me try that again there we go um no it seems kind of equal i guess so that's just something we'll have to see how it goes let's just fast forward one more but that should eventually get all the traffic going through instead of having to wait at traffic lights which when this clears up then it'll clear up this because it's all backed up um and then we can go down here actually this is okay but we still might change that as well but let's just get this one going a bit better first so just to get it going a bit faster we'll remove traffic lights there so that can go straight through now these ones, I guess some of them are going that way. Uh, I suppose I can leave it. Now just, just to make it go a bit faster, uh, it's already done. Remove intersection, remove intersection, remove, remove, remove. Okay, so those are already done. This one we can also do it just to make it flow even faster. There we go. And see that's already clearing up this whole road as well like because all of that was compact just before it was all congested and now it's basically all clear so it's the power of the roundabout guys it's just oh it works so good so then oh what's going on down here oh yuck what is going on down there i can't really see uh, i think they're just stuck i think so I might just actually be a little bit sneaky here, just to get it going a bit. Go. Can maybe use, put him into that lane. There we go, that's going a little bit faster. Oh yeah, um, remove this intersection there. They can go straight through so they don't have to wait. Turn off crossings, straight through, good, good, good. Um, also through here is done, that one's done, they can give way, these guys. Now over this side, oh yeah, what I was going to do over here, let me just update the road, oops, we don't want to do that, we go, no collision, there we go. So. You know how I added in this lane here, which wasn't here before, because originally they had to use this lane, go all the way around, back under, and then use the crossings to get back over to here. So I added in this lane, which is going to be used directly to go this way only. So otherwise they can use this one up here, um, but just to help the traffic flow. So all of the traffic coming from this lane will then go into that lane, and then they have to exit into this lane so then they're they're kind of bypassing the whole roundabout area as well and there shouldn't be any other traffic oh wait there is other traffic this traffic should go into that lane and this traffic should go into that lane there we go so they can still go around this one can go across there great actually we might remove those crossings as well we don't want those cars crossing the un oncoming highway traffic because obviously the highway has all the priority because it's bringing in all of the cars like look at all that we've got to get rid of all of that which we will we're getting there okay let's have a look at this side now ah there we go remove intersection there great why did they just slow down here is there no, it looks like they're slowing down for some reason though. I don't know why. Did I... Yeah, I pressed it all, so it should be fine. Okay, well, I guess I just let that run for a while because there's still a lot of traffic. Like, it's all the way... It's backed all the way up to here. Oof. 
Okay, but yeah, you can see it, it's all starting to flow now, even though even though it's still congested, but I mean, that's pretty good for a congested area. Now, the next thing I wanted to work on was this one down here. So you can see how they're all stopping waiting, blah, 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 blah. Um, basically, if we just remove the traffic light, it's going to make it go a lot faster and manage it a little bit. Um, there's all the connections down here that they need. So what I want to do is just remove the traffic light there and this one here. Now I'm going to ban these guys from turning left. So if for example, there's a truck along here that wants to go left into this little, what is this like port area, they can actually just go down here and use this one, which is already there. So I don't really need to do anything else. Um, we might also just to help the flow. So it's an extra lane. So we'll downgrade this one here, this road to uh, that one actually. Actually, we can downgrade this part first, and then that's what I was thinking. I got all confused then. Then we can make this lane here go into this lane, and then these two can go directly ahead. There we go. So then it's just an easy flow, and there's no crossing over each other. We don't need traffic lights here either because, like, obviously the flow. I mean, there's not much traffic in this area anyway. Um, ben, right turn there, just to help the flow again, and then also boom. Ah, there we go. Look at it go. Very good, very good. That'll clear that up really quick, I bet. Now, how's up here going? Flow is going better. It's getting better, better, better. Still a little bit of traffic coming in, but that's okay. Up here, getting better, I hope. Good, good, good. Slowly moving, slowly moving, slowly moving, slowly moving. Great. It's just like all these simple things that you can do, but they make such a huge difference. And it's just, it's so satisfying. What is the percentage now? 44. So we're getting there. Great. Let's just take a moment, like up here, this whole industrial area, no traffic, because probably because of this huge roundabout, easy access to highways. So that's really good. Really, really great. Even over here, all the, this is a huge industrial area. No traffic congestion, really easy. Down here, really, there's n nothing going on. It's really good. Um, you know why though? It's probably because there's all these little road connections as well. A lot of you forget to add these little connections over the highway and under the highway. So this guy has obviously done it and it's, 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 it's impacted it pretty good. Oh, that's why they're slowing down. There's traffic lights here. Naughty. Yours, 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 look at it go, <laughs> look at it go, yours. Oh my God, look at it go, oh my God. Um, lanes are good. Uh, I just realized we have three lanes here. Silly me. Um, I don't know, let's just utilize that third lane anyway, because it's already there. Update that to three lanes, there we go. Actually, no, I won't, undo that. Undo that, where is it? Back to two lanes. Um, let's just make this third lane. I can't be bothered to update the road, but we'll just go like that. We'll make the third lane basically not in use. There, so there's still three lanes, but we just got rid of it. Um, because I didn't want to, what I was going to do was this third lane here, I was going to continue it on through here with an extra third lane here, but then it would be two lanes entering into a one lane road. So, also these guys here, they should be able to go either way. I suppose, there we go. I suppose I could make that little green one go over there as well. I don't know, it's, it seems to be going well. Oh, look at that, clearing itself up, great. Um, excuse me, what is this? Yuck. Ugh, my god, why? Why did you do that? Don't worry, I got it, I'll fix it for you. Down we go, there we go. Um, I should also mention there's different trams throughout the city, which are fine. There's a few monorails, there's subways, so basically they have, this guy has put all of that in. You know what, this is just giving me, like, <laughs> oh my god. Like, it's not a bad design, technically. I'm just going to make one change to it though. 
Okay, there we go. So the only change that I made was to add in this loop here that goes around. Now I could have just added it from here down to there, but this road here is it's kind of in the way. Um, so originally to access this road, you had to turn, you had to access it from this point here. So this traffic coming along here had to cut across this uh, oncoming traffic here and then they were onto it. So I added it onto this side so they don't actually have to cut across, basically, if that makes sense. Um, also, if the cars on this side want to access this, they can just go up here uh, and then do a U-turn or a P-turn, whatever you like to call it from wherever you're from, but they can do that. So it's, it's all easily accessible. Ah, just look at it, ah, so peaceful. Don't you just love seeing a good road network? Like, isn't it just so satisfying? <sighs> yes, it is, Sam. Yes, it is. Now, let's do a check. So, this area, I'm, I'm basically going to leave it. It's fine. Um, now, up here, look at that. Traffic is cleared. Fantastic. There's no little traffic buildup down here. Great. Is there anything up here happening? Nope. This area is running smoothly. Highway looking smooth from here. Looking smooth, looking smooth. Um, whoa, actually, geez, that was all congested before, and now it's cleared itself up. Really great, really, really good. And even here, oh my god, yes, so good. So, the roundabout works, you guys, and like, I, like, it doesn't bother me that a lot of you still don't get that, but I just kind of feel bad that you don't really use it, and then you have all these issues, and you say, hey, Sam, how can I fix this? And you could have just put a roundabout. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's your struggle, not mine. Um, but yeah, it's just running so much better now. It's so satisfying. Traffic percentage is 72. And I suspect it's going to be a lot higher when this clears up. Actually, what's going on here? Now we've got traffic, traffic issues down here. Actually, there's a lot of traffic lights down here. Don't really need that many, so I can do one there. Maybe not one there, do one there. Remove, remove, remove that one. They can use that traffic light. Actually, remove that as well. Yeah, you don't need so many traffic lights on all of them because that's annoying. Like, if, if, for those of you who drive, I assume most of you drive, if you have to drive here, stop. Drive, stop. Drive, stop. That is so annoying, right? It all right, you guys, that's all for this map. It's amazing how much difference you can make just from doing a couple of lane management areas and a few roundabouts and just making sure that the flow is a lot better and just removing traffic lights. It, it really makes such a huge difference. So make sure you try that in your city. I guarantee there will be some kind of improvement and just make sure whenever you have a traffic issue, sometimes it's, it's, it's actually caused by somewhere else. So you need to track where it all comes from. Anyway, that's all from me, Samba, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye. Yus, yus.